Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Muhammad Arsalan executive team lies on i am aki uit tech class student chat so imagine a situation in which you are required to build a complex model of plastic so how would you complete your job are you going to complete it through casting or going for some molding techniques if your answer is yes then it would be changed to a big no after few minutes but why because i'm going to tell you about additive manufacturing which comes under the category of advanced manufacturing process so before starting let's have a look what i will brief you in this presentation so first i will we will discuss introduction after that functional principles of additive manufacturing advantages and disadvantages additive manufacturing processes and future aspects and the last one conclusion so manufacturing processes are mainly classified into two main categories number one conventional method in which there is direct contact of tool with the workpiece and the second one is non conventional method which is also known as advanced manufacturing process in which there is no direct contact of tool with the workpiece so what is additive manufacturing basically additive manufacturing is what you see is what you build process in which digital 3d design data is used for the creation of layer by depositing material and it has a lot of benefits advantages over conventional method of manufacturing like it can eliminate many constraints which are imposed by conventional method of manufacturing and the complexity of the design can easily be removed by additive manufacturing so in simple words additive manufacturing is technology that can make anything so let's move towards functional principles before discussing functional principles i want to tell you about different approaches that we will follow in additive manufacturing for the creation of our final model so first of all 3d design model is created with the help of cad softwares as a tool as variety of cad softwares are available in the market for the creation of 3d model after the creation of 3d model it is converted into dot stl file for the purpose of having complete information about 3d model after converting cad model into dot stl file it is put into slicer which is a software so what slicer does basically slicer divides your cad model in the form of layers or slides and represent a path for the tool like how it is going to create the layers from the raw material after slicing and representing and providing path it is put into 3d printer and the rest of the work is done by 3d printer and final product is obtained and this is the basic example of additive manufacturing like there is material development design modeling and simulation material processing and layering and final product is obtained so let's move towards additive manufacturing processes as you can see there are seven processes of additive manufacturing through which we get our final product by passing through different stages the most interesting thing here in in these processes is that the functional principle of all these processes are same let me tell you the functional principle of additive manufacturing of all these processes so first of all platform is created by applying different layers of powder material in second stage a powerful beam is used to fuse the layers with each other and to place a part exactly at that point where we have get data of computer design data of computer design in third stage the platform that we have created in first stage is then lowered and another layer of material is applied in fourth stage all the layers are adjusted in such a way that they can make a bond with each other and final product is obtained so what are the applications of applications or areas of additive manufacturing we can classify that there are four major areas where additive manufacturing is significantly used number 1 automotive number 2 aerospace number 3 biomedical and number 4 consumer goods and many others like you can make automotive aerospace biomedical components without the fear of complexity of the design so here you can see the future aspects or you can see the additive additive manufacturing market outlook 
you guys must have a question might have a question in your mind that what are the factors behind this success that it is a tremendous technology and it will be inshallah in future in future so i will i will cover all these factors in my concluding slide as in a duty manufacturing it is a free, there is a freedom of design it means you can design anything without fear of complexity of the design even you can make lightweight by using lightweight materials uh, models by using additive manufacturing and mo and the so, and the most interesting fact and the most uh, benefit of additive manufacturing is that there is no limitations of geometric there is no geometric limitation but it is quite costly and considerable effort is required for making your design applicable that's all from my side thank you so much scientists discover which exists and engineer creates which never was thank you so much